Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, March 11th, 2016. And uh, this video is by Mr. MBB333. And I've been sent this link to have a look at. Did NASA Stereo A spacecraft capture a rogue eclipse on the backside of the sun? And in this video, Mr. MBB333 looks at the images from the Stereo A spacecraft and uh, concludes that possibly uh, the Stereo A spacecraft picked up uh, something eclipsing the sun on the other side of the sun because of the uh, the location of the Stereo spacecraft. It's um, looking at the sun from a different angle to the Earth. But in any case, there's a very simple explanation for this, and it has been seen before. And if you go to the Stereo uh, NASA web page, and I'll put a link in the description area, if you click on the Artifacts page, you'll find a series of links, and one of them uh, is debris. So I'll just go back to the main link so that you can see that first. So this is the main Artifacts page here, and you can see a number of different items that they have here, and you've got debris. So under the listing for debris, we see these two very interesting images. And there are plenty of other examples that have been uh, taken as well. Um, I haven't bothered to uh, track down the other images, but I've seen them before and they do look very similar. Some of them look a lot more spectacular than the two that we see here, and similar to the one in Mr. BB333's video. But here is the explanation. Um, it says here, occasionally one will see bright blobs or streaks appearing in the stereo chronograph images. These have been seen before by the SOHO mission and are caused by micro-meteorite impacts knocking off small pieces of the multi-layer insulation blankets which are wrapped around the spacecraft. These small debris particles are brightly illuminated by the sun and are easily seen by the chronographs if they wander into the field of view. They are tremendously out of focus and often appear as donut shapes on the Core 1 and Core 2 telescopes because of the central occulta in these telescopes. The bigger the piece of debris appears, the closer it is to the telescope. Because the Core 1 and Core 2 images are generally built up from a series of images, the same piece of debris will often show up multiple times. And that's exactly what we're seeing uh, here and here. And indeed here we see the same thing. Though, as I said, this one is rather more spectacular. And if we step through the stereo ahead core 2 images from that date, 2016-02-12, uh, we see that the image that is in Mr. BB333's video is just one single image. Let's step forward, and there it is. And the very next image, everything is back to normal. So this is obviously a very um, momentary event, and the explanation on the artifacts page does explain exactly what we're seeing there with it occurring multiple times. So it says here, because the Core 1 and Core 2 images are generally built up from a series of images, the same piece of debris will often show up multiple times. That's exactly what we're seeing in the, in the image there. Now while we're at it, uh, let's take a look at this little object here. Because this often comes up in, in videos where people claim that it's Nibiru next to the Sun. The funny thing that if it was a real object, if it was a real planet, then the the crescent would actually be facing the other way. It would be facing towards the sun, not away from the sun. The illuminated side obviously has to be on the same side as facing the sun, not away from it. So what is this little crescent that we see here? Well, again, this is actually covered in the Stereo Artifacts page. And let's go back to the main page. And let's find it there. So we've got Camera Defects. And there it is. Okay, now it's oriented differently here uh, because of the orientation of the camera uh, when the images were taken. So here is a close-up image of a small fiber on the surface of the CCD camera for the Core 2 on stereo ahead. Click on the image to see the location on the detector. So if we hit the image, and there it is. And if we save this image and rotate it, uh, 180 degrees, 
we will see that it is in exactly the same place as we see it here. So just back to the explanation on that. Um, so some artifacts are caused by defects in the cameras or optics used to take the, the images. The most noticeable example of a camera defect is shown below. This is a small fiber on the surface of the charged coupled device or CCD camera for the Core 2 telescope on stereo ahead. The total length of the fiber is just one millimeter. It has been there since launch. Most likely this fiber came off one of the clean room wipes used during the assembly of a camera. Even though the material of the wipes is selected to shed as few particles as possible, the occasional particle does end up inside the instrument. Now this fiber doesn't always show up in the um, stereo A Core 2 images. Uh, it's very much reliant on the lighting conditions from the sun for it to show up. It's just like sometimes when you take photos with your own camera, um, particles of dust and things like that will sometimes show up that are on the lens. It all depends on the lighting in the foreground. So that's what that one is. So there we have it. Uh, we're not seeing a rogue eclipse on the back side of the sun as suggested in Mr. BB333's video. All we are seeing is a piece of debris from a micrometeorite that has struck the insulation blanket on the spacecraft, uh, causing debris to come off in a single frame. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.